The Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, Nodulator Pro, and Cruiser Max Vibrance Beans. Bernard Tobin here on the Soybean School. Today I'm in uh, Stratford, Ontario, joined by Horse Bonner, on, uh, Ontario Soybean uh, Specialist. Sir, uh, thanks again for joining us on Real Ag. You're welcome. Awesome. Now we're inside today because... Yes, we are. Uh, it's been cold and wet, mm -hmm. and the yep. rain is yep. just yep. about to start, about 40 to 70 millimeters over the next three days. And I thought I'd drop in, talk to you about, I guess, a little State of the Union sure. on the soybean crop. Um, let's start with, uh, you know, what's in the ground now? There hasn't been a lot of activity, but yeah, a few yeah. acres in. Yeah, absolutely. Just a very few acres, realistically, right, on some lighter lighter ground, um, really in the hundreds of acres, not even in the in the thousands, is my uh, my gut feel from the people I've talked to, and you know, realistically. Um, we're not all that happy with uh, the ground conditions today. That's right. for sure with the, with the big rain and the cold. So from that perspective, you know, uh, hopefully that'll all turn out fine, but I'm not so sure today. I'd rather have that in my bag, in the seed bag or not, right? right. So it's May 5th. Um, as I say, we're, gonna, we've got, we're wet now yeah, yeah, we're yeah. going to get a lot more rain that's right talk about from your perspective uh timing uh you talk about you know the 15th or 20th that range is when you're you know traditional uh planning times so it's still early but uh, mm -hmm. how concerned mm -hmm. are you and what you're thinking well overall i think you have to consider each year um differently so at the end of the day, if you think about our long-term planting date studies, there's no doubt that we prefer early planting. Mm. But the good news is in soybeans, by early, we really mean by the 10th of May, right? So we're not even there today, right? So we're still in the early window. And I would make the argument that in a year like this, you certainly haven't missed anything, right? That cold, wet soil is going to produce a lot of soil-borne diseases in, the, in those early seedlings. So we haven't missed anything, right? And uh, the long-term data would show that really you, you don't lose significant yield until you get really past the 20th of, or so, right? So sure, long-term, I'd like to see them in by the 10th, but with the way the weather is this year, you're just gonna have to wait, right? Yeah. So, as I say, it's the fifth now. Um, by the time things dry out after this, yes, this rain, yes. you're going to be into that window. Basically, That's right. Practically That's right. planning. Yep. Talk about some, I guess, the management considerations as mm -hmm. you get into that window. What do you start thinking about tweaking um, from a perspective of, from planting, you know, whether it's populations, row widths? Right, right. Well, I think the, the overall way to look at planting date and soybeans is that May is considered normal. I think that's still true. That really hasn't changed over the last 30 years. We've pushed to earlier planting because we see some advantages, no question. But so what I'm uh, suggesting is that during the month of May, there really isn't anything new that we should consider, right? Carry on with the same variety, same management practices, same population, all those good things. There's nothing that you need to change. Once you get into June, I would consider those late, right? Um, but really not to the point where we would change anything in terms of management until about the 15th. Mm. And uh, somewhere around the middle of June, I would suggest that you're better off to up your population because what that does is increases the number of nodes per uh, acre because your plants are shorter when you plant that late, right? They don't have the time, they don't have time during the vegetative stages to get real tall. So to compensate for that, you need more plants per acre, and that's been shown. Um, so that's about the only thing in the middle of June. Once you get to the end of June, then I would get excited about row width as well, mm -hmm. right? We really want to go to narrow rows as you go into those extremely late situations. And then July, of course, you know, we've talked about this before. Once you're in July, you're really in a double cropping situation, right? And, and the only reason I bring that up is, is not that we're thinking about double cropping today. It's just that as the progression 
um, continues in terms of what we should do, we really don't change things significantly until we're in July, right? So that's the good news for soybeans. We haven't missed anything. We're not going to change our practices uh, today, that's for sure. And I'm hopeful that after this significant rainfall here, which we're expecting, that if we get in within the next two weeks, nothing wrong with that. We haven't missed anything. Perfect. Let's talk about um, varieties. Obviously, you know, the big conversation that will happen in the weeks ahead about corn is switching. Obviously, right, for sure right, yep. What about soybeans? Um, you know, you don't see that much switching in soybeans, or is it just a case where soybeans are smarter than corn and no, no daylight? <laughs> well, well, there's no doubt that soybeans are smarter than corn. I think, I think that's very true. Um, so, uh, of course, they shorten up in terms of their maturity because of their photo period sensitivity. Um, in the fall. So there's about a three to one relationship. If you plant three days later in the spring, that means one day later harvest in the fall, right? So from that perspective, that gives you some buffer right there. But we've also learned over the last number of years that we can push maturities more than we're used to and we, we get away with it. Eh? And the third comment I would make is that in the work that's been done so far, Switching really doesn't make any sense until you get into that extreme double cropping situation. So as an industry, to be honest with you, we kind of decided that we shouldn't switch at all yeah. until you get into extreme situations. And, and by that, I mean July plantings, right? And, and no one's really, you know, why would you talk about that on the, mm -hmm. on the 5th of the May, May, right? Well, this final question for you, and that is, I think most people would agree that whether it's the 15th or May, the 18th, whenever you get in there, you might be in a cold, wet situation. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Some some advice for farmers, always, you know, let's not mud them in. Uh, sure, or, sure. But, you know, something to take to the field. Well, I think the real message here, uh, in in my mind, and you know, we struggle the same when we do plots. We're, we've got a lot of work yeah, to do, a lot of work to do. And, and we want to get at it. The best thing you can do is wait, wait, wait until that ground is truly fit, right? And then you work day and night. But waiting, that's, that's really the message, right? A until it truly is fit, because the last thing you want to do is, is mud them in. But other than that, you know, the, the same principles apply that we would say for any time, mm -hmm. right? Planting into some moisture not driving too quick with that drill, and uh, really just trying to do the best job that you can. The one thing that I think we could get caught on a little bit here is just with the burn downs, right? That's gonna all ha have to happen pretty quick, right? Some of those weeds are starting to really, really move along, uh, but again, you just gotta wait. You gotta wait. It's hurry up and wait is the old thing. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, you know, none of us want to be in this position and, and, and it's not a pleasant position to be in. But the other side of it is, this is not the first time we've gone through this, right? Well, sir, um, thank you so much for your time. Um, I say next time we hope to see you out in the field. Absolutely. Doing some plots and we'll get out of the office. Yeah, I mean, it's a rainy day today, but let's look past that. The sun will come out again and we will get the job done. We always do. As my dad would say, she'll bloom again. Absolutely, yep. Very good, thank you.